Hello and welcome back to another Inky Dunk video from the R3 Centre podcast. My name's Jonathan Dunn and this is the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, if you can believe it. So, I've done quite a lot now. If you're looking at the post-it notes, you can see I've ticked off the endings of most of these characters. I haven't done anything on the keep yet, still need to get my head round. I don't know, just, just how to play as him, really how to strategize those runs. Obviously the lost. But what I want to do is I want to tick off I want to tick off now Mega Satan with all the other characters. And then I can focus my time and energy on the lost runs. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, as you can see, I haven't done greedier mode with anyone yet because greedier mode is uh, horrible, and um, I'm, I'll attempt it at some point. But for now, I want to do Mega Satan runs, and I'm going to do that today with, or attempt to do it with Judas. And I like Judas. Judas is a great character. He uh, starts with nice high damage and the Book of Belial, which will increase your damage for the room that you're in. Um, but he has only got one red heart, so uh, you do need to be a bit careful. Oh, golden bomb. That means I've got infinite bombs for this floor, which is quite nice. It means I can properly look for the uh, secret rooms and, and, and that sort of stuff. Oh, well that's a... That's a prize full of stuff, isn't it? I just need a key. I just need a key to unlock my way into that little uh, cornucopia. Um, so Mega Satan. Um, if you haven't seen a run where I've done Mega Satan before, there's a few ways to get to Mega Satan. Um, but ultimately, what you need to do is you need to get a method of unlocking the door in either the chest or the dark room, which is uh, the final, well, sort of pretty much the final uh, the final floor in a run, uh, unless you go to the void to do delirium. Um, and there's a door there to unlock. Um, I'm just going to re-roll this, try and get something I want. Mm, don't want that, okay. Oh, I've got bombs, I can, I've got infinite bombs, of course. Uh, metal plate. Sometimes tears will bounce back at enemies. Uh, I forget which one that is. As as you know, as you know, I have no idea what any <laughs> any of the Zodiac ones do. Uh, that is Tauros. I thought it was. I don't like Tauros. Um, <clears throat> Book of Invincibility. Oh, I should have. Oh, never mind. I'm going to pick that up. And I'm going to put it back. I should have done that with the previous one. Then I would have had the bookworm transformation. Oh well. So, um, yeah, uh, Mega Satan. So you need to find a way of unlocking the door that is in the entrance to uh, to those floors. Uh, and you can do that via a few methods. Uh, firstly, you can do two angel fights. And angel fights uh, are unlocked by... Um, bombing an angel statue, which are in the angel rooms. Um, and you can get to angel rooms by uh, not taking devil deals. Ooh, that's nice. That's not nice. Uh, and then if you don't take a devil deal, then there's a chance that um, angel deal angel rooms will appear instead. Um, and then you can bomb the angel statues in those. You can sometimes, an angel room might sometimes be one of the secret rooms. Um, or, yeah, you just might find an angel statue just randomly appearing somewhere. Uh, and you need to do that twice. Oh, you can also make an angel appear if you uh, use the sacrifice room to damage yourself a lot of times. I can't remember exactly how many times it is. You need to do it, but it's about I don't know, I don't know, eight times maybe. So you need to have a lot of health um, to be able to sort of willingly, willingly sacrifice, um, willingly sacrifice that much health in order to get that. And you've got to do that twice to get two halves of a key, which will then uh, open up um, that room. Um, once you've done that once in the game, you unlock an item called uh, Dad's Key which can then appear in the game. And Dad's key is basically uh, 
that has the same effect. Uh, it's got it's an active item. It's got a two room charge, and if you use it, it'll basically unlock all entrances or all doors in uh, the room that you're in, uh, and that includes uh, normal doors. <clears throat> Normal doors if you're in the middle of a floor, if you're in the middle of a battle, uh, locked doors, um, even reveal secret exits and secret entrances and stuff like that, and also the um, uh, the, the entrance to uh, to the Mega Satan uh, fight. So you could luck out and find that, and then you just got to hold that as your active item for you know until you get there, and then use that. Um, there's also a uh, card. So occasionally you'll find a card as a dropped item that you can hold in your right hand uh, that have different effects. There is a card called Get Out of Jail Free. Um, it's one of you know many cards that are in the game. I don't know what the odds are of it appearing, but if you get that, that will basically it's a it's a one-time use version of Dad's Key, and again that will work. Uh, I'll take that HP up. Uh, that will work um, to unlock the room as well. And something I discovered the other day is that um, you also can use another item to unlock that door, which is an item called Mr. Me. And Mr. Me is uh, well, it's a parody of the of Mr. Me Seeks from Rick and Morty, um, and it will grant you. Uh, it will basically do whatever you tell it to do. And the way it works in this game is, um, come on. Come on, mate, I don't like these guys. He's just a bit too fast. The way it works in this game is uh, you use the Mr. Me, uh, the Mr. Me item, and then it will um, give you a little cursor, and you get a few seconds to move that cursor around. That was a bit unfair. Um, and point it at something, and then Mr. Me will go and interact with that something in a way. Uh, so it could be something like you direct him to go to a locked door, and he'll go and open that, or to a tinted rock, and he'll blow it up. Uh, it could even be to go and uh, pick up an item in a shop and steal it for you. Uh, you could target it at an enemy um, to uh, to get him to attack it. Um, sort of like, well, like Little Horn or someone like that. Uh, or you can... Oh, that's a shame. You can uh, use him to unlock the door to Mega Satan. Uh, the good thing about Mr. Me is that he... The item is one of the shop pool items. So, um, basically, if you get a shop with a re-roll machine and you've got a way of re-rolling it, uh, you're more than likely gonna gonna get it. Um, and that's the way that I've been doing since I discovered that you could use Mr. Me to do that. That's the way I've been doing my Mega Satan unlocks, and it's much more. Uh, it's a much more consistent method than hoping the, uh, the dad's key appears or getting a, a, get a jail free card. Um, oops. Oh, that was uh, that was silly. What have I got that's made my? Oh, I think it's the my my trinket. It's, oh, that's poor. Right. Uh, okay, another. I don't want to use my coins because I want to save my coins to buy the Mr. Me item if it's in the shop. But I don't have a key. Um, so I want some bombs and I want a key to use that reroll machine. Um, otherwise I'll just take that. Oh, hello, hello key. What have we got in here then? Okay, so no Mr. Mr. Me item in here. Um, I'm not going to spend my coins in here. Am I going to spend my coins in here? I'm going to reroll it once. Take that, that's great. That's an orbital that does shitloads of damage. Great, that's worth three coins. Okay, um, but yeah, ideally, I'm gonna want to make sure that I've got 15 coins so I can buy the Mr. Me item. Oh, I fucking hate the horn. And uh, and then find a shop with a reroll machine or just find the shop with the Mr. Me item in. Um, that's the that's the idea. Look at that contact damage. Oh, delicious. HP up. I'll take that. Why not? Devil deal. What have you got for me? Uh, oh, that's that's not fun. Thank you. Another soul heart. Health up. No. Oh. 
curse of the maze, but that's fine. Okay, on to the next floor. So because I haven't taken a devil deal, and like there weren't any items to take a deal with the devil in that room, so you can see my angel room chances at 50% on the bottom left, uh, my stats over there. Um, oh, good. Okay, so I found the shop. What was probably the shop? Oh, I, I, I don't like the flooded caves, or whatever this is. I think it's the flooded caves, is it? Yeah, it's just. Um, right, that was the. That's a speed down. I do like the sacrificial dagger, though. That's so good. Uh, what's that? Finger bone. I'll take that, why not? It's just everything kind of splashes damage when you kill things and stuff, and I don't like it. Ooh, key. Okay, let's go back to... Uh, let's go back to here. Like, whilst I'm doing a Mega Saiyan run... Ooh, okay. Well, that's... Uh, that means I can get Bookworm Transformation. Bookworm Transformation means that I will sometimes fire two shots instead of one. Um, I've got nothing to gain by picking up those other ones, so I'm just going to keep up a Belial and carry on. Okay, uh, yeah, I was saying, uh, whilst I'm doing a Mega Saiyan run, I will prioritise um, like my use of keys on shops um, and my money on the Mr. Me item. Um, Fortunately, I've got another key, so I can open the shop. Hopefully, I'll get yet another key to open up um, the... Uh, ah, that's very, very useful. Petrified poop means that money and stuff can appear in poops more often. Um, and I will need all the money I can get to help me get the uh, Mr. Me item. Uh, okay, there's the item room, but I'm not going to not gonna go in there just yet. I'm just going to wait until I find the shop first. Uh, hello. Bomb, that's good. There's a reroll machine, I can use that. Oh, sacrificial dagger's great. Okay. So the, uh. Oops, that was poor. The shop's gonna be in the other. In the other. Uh, better than that, the floor. Um, worst comes to the worst, I can potentially bomb the donation machine if I want to get some extra money to buy the Mr. Me item. Um, okay. Oh, come on now. See, it's just stuff everywhere, I don't like it. Oh, that shit. Oh, god damn it. I just hate this floor. Kill these corny poops. Uh, that will give me destroying this uh, rainbow will restore my health, my red heart health. That is, because um, I did have an empty heart container. I've got a nice bit of money now, so hopefully, ooh, it's going to be sore if I can't get to them. All right, okay. Oh, okay. Well, for a start, I need to buy the stopwatch because the stopwatch is probably the most powerful item in the game. Um, if you take damage in a room, it will um, slow the whole room down. Um, okay. I wonder, I'm going to take a punt, but this card is the Hanged Man. It's not, it's the Hermit. Okay, right, let's not waste my money. Um, oh, I want the item room, though. Okay, I'm going to accept that this could be... Um, I've, I've now spent, you know, my 15, my 15 coin. So uh, that could be a bad decision. I might come to regret. I just can't resist. I can't resist um, the treasure. Oh, it's shit as well. Okay, at least I've got some money back. Okay, uh, let me use that guy there in case there's a secret room there. If there's not, let's go and do the boss. Um, I've got the Hermit card, which will teleport me into the shop uh, on the next floor, which I'll, I'll use that. Why did I do that? Why did I... I'm definitely going to take damage in here, and I didn't need to. So, 
but then stopwatch slows the whole room down. I mean, this is yeah, it, it's it's a it's an item that's actually been nerfed um, because it used to be that it just slowed down every every room and it was just like a total game breaker. Um, right. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to use the sacrificial dagger on things that blow up because you're going to be near it. There we go. Right. Devil room. What have you got for me? Don't really want any of them. They're good, but um, yeah, I'm going to keep my option for angel rooms open. I think. Right. Okay. Next floor. Flooded cage two. Fucking great. Let's go to the shop. Okay, there's a reroll machine in here. Let's see what we get. No Mr. Me. Okay. Not yet, anyway. Uh, I might find some more bombs. I don't want to waste my coins in uh, re-rolling that. Because... Uh, <laughs> okay, got a key, so at least I can get the the item, uh, open the item room. Steven's a nice little familiar, just fires homing shots. Just don't really need to worry about him. No. Nope. Oh, that's arse. Um, so I don't think Angel Room, the Angel Room chance is affected by taking Red Heart damage. So, um, I mean, hopefully I won't, but I mean, I probably will in this room because it's horrible. I hate these guys. I hate these guys. I hate them so much. Yeah. Okay. Um. Brilliant. Okay, yeah, so my, uh, my Devil Deal chance has gone massively down. Um, that will go back up when I leave the room, but my angel room chance is still 50-50. Um, you can increase your chances of an angel room appearing by... ...bombing the little demon beggars. Um, donating to the donation machine in the shop. There's also some items you can get. Um, I think it's the Eucharist is the sort of equivalent of the goat head, um, which will guarantee then uh, one of those appearing. Uh, the, um, could be sort of sacrificial dagger there. Use it on that guy though. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Right. Okay, got a bomb. So I could go, I can use the reroll machine again. I mean, I haven't got, I haven't got anywhere near enough money to buy uh, Mr. Me if it does appear. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, that was poor. That was poor. But at least now Sacrificial Dagger is dead easy to use when everyone's slowed down. Right, another bomb. Where's the fucking treasure room? Not even bothered. Okay. What have we got? Oh, that's good. But also, I'm not going to keep it because Book of Belial. Um, Satanic Bible's great. It basically, you use it and you get a black heart. It's very, very useful. But oh, Book of Belial's just better, I think. Right, let's get back to, uh, let's get back to that um, 
item room. Use these bombs, see if I get lucky. Um, yeah. I will need to find a way of getting... Getting some, a few more coins, uh, potentially. Unless I get lucky and it's, it's there and it's on sale. Uh, let's have a look, let's have a go. Right. Bomb. Nope. Bomb. Right, I'm going to go and hunt the rest of the rooms, try and find some bombs, some coins, etc. Um. Oh. Oh. It would be good to keep the Titanic Bible. There's another bomb, that's good. Um. Should keep it. Dunno. Oh come on now. It's just poor. It's just poor. God. This is not a fun room, is it? I've got to get at least I've got at least I've got coins now. Okay. Right, I've got a bomb and twenty coins. That um let's go and let's go and have another couple re-rolls. Uh yeah. Okay. Yeah, these Mega Satan runs often last quite a while because you're sort of carving out. Uh, I'd love to get that item, but no, nope, my priority is Mr. Me. Oh, come on. Okay, still no Mr. Me. I'm not going to waste my last few coins. I'll try again on the next floor. Right. Brush him with the sacrificial dagger. Right, come on, angel room. Nope. Take this guy though. Okay. And on we go. On we go. Curse the labyrinth. Okay. So there's only one shop on this floor. Um, but it is two floors combined. So there'll be two treasure rooms to try and find. Hopefully, I see I've got the petrified poop, um, which is great for finding coins. Um, <laughs> Love the sacrificial dagger. It's great. Okay. Okay. I've got three keys. So I've got keys for the shop and the two item rooms, so that's good. Right, okay, oh, I'm just going to use Book of Belial in here, just speed it up a little bit. I sort of forget that Book of Belial's only got a three room charge, and I, so I just save it for the boss fight. Um, I don't really need to. Oh fuck, okay. Don't rush it. Thank you. Ugh. Let's wait for that creep to fade. Yeah, 
I mean, you do have to be quite precise with a uh, sacrificial dagger to... <laughs> and just walking into fires. Crying it up, I mean, God, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Oh, right. <laughs> Okay, well I found the bosses. Oh, I hate these, I don't like those spitting machines. Okay. Nothing in here. There we go. Thank you, Chad. A nice lot of coins. I mean, it's possible that um, the shop won't be the shop. It will just be a greed fight or something like that. Um, which I hope it's not, because uh, yeah, the shops stop appearing then after. Um, uh, after this, after this, well, this set of floors. Oh, come on. I am being careless with that stuff, and for that, I apologise. Okay. Infinite bombs for this floor. Great. Don't even care. Okay. Oh god, oh, these fucking guys. Okay, let's not actually die. Okay. That's great. Short range mega tears. Love that. So, uh,. My, tier, my, my my damage has gone way up, and uh, but then you can see the tears reduce in size, and they do less damage the further away uh, they go. They are so right. Okay. Um, I do do actually need to make sure I don't die. I've been very very careless here. Something. I'm gonna blow up that chest. What you got for me? Okay. Oh, whoops. Ah, at least there's that one. Okay. I uh, just need to go find the shop. Really, really hope that um, it's a shop with a reroll machine. Sneaky sacrificial dagger. That's fun. Oh, whoops. Oh, that was my varicose vein that I just, uh, that was the second item I picked up. I get hit. Um, it does that. Massive tear burst. Room. I can use Book of Belial because I know there's quite a few batteries around. Piece of cake, okay. Um, oh, I don't need a battery. It's only th three room charge. Okay. <sighs> I 
Mm, I want that. Got infinite bombs. Thank you. Mm, I want that as well. Oh, fuck it. Didn't want it that much. I thought I could be clever. No, I could not. What's that? Safety cap. That means pills are more likely to appear, but I want my, uh, I still want my poop. My petrified poop. Oof. Great. There's a tinted rock there. Devil, that's a good card to have. Gives me Book of Belial effect. I don't know if it, I don't think it stacks with Book of Belial though. It might do. Come on, where's this bloody shop? Here it is. Come on. Yes! Okay, there is no. No Mr. Me box in here. Never mind. Oops. Okay, well. Well then. Try not to put the health up. Okay. Okay, so I've got to really hope that an angel room appears, so I'm just going to donate my money. Okay, 75% chance that there's going to be a devil room appearing, and then I can potentially try my luck um, in the, in if I can find a sacrifice room. been a sacrifice room on this floor. Okay, well, that means I've just got to, um, I've got to go and see if I can get an angel room, and then hope for a, a sacrifice room to appear on the next, uh, the next couple of floors. Yeah. Might I get a jail free card? I still might find Dad's key as an item. Um, I always take the Polaroid, uh, in these runs so I can go to the chest. Um, because the, uh, the, what's it here? Um, Dad's key can appear out of a chest. So there's a few more chances of, of getting it that way. Uh, although loads of items can appear in a chest. Okay. Oh, the adversary. Dead. The dead for Seri. Ooh, that's just a great item. Okay, so hopefully uh, Angel Room will appear in this uh, after this mum fight. Let's find out. No, nothing. Man. Okay, well, I think, well, I don't know if that 75% chance will stay for this floor. Let's have a look. No, about down, down to 50, but then also 100% chance that the Devil Room will appear. Not if I take red heart damage though, which I might do on purpose. So now, yeah, there's a higher chance that the angel room will appear. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Blow him up. That's good. I'm not going to blow the other guy up. Um, because that will increase my devil room chances a bit. Uh, my devil room chance. Okay. There's the boss. I'm just going to do the boss. If I get an angel room, then I can come back out and hunt for a uh, sacrifice room. Loki. Whoops. Just, it's not my day, is it? Not my day. Um, I've got loads of health. I'm going to go and try and find a sacrifice room. Because uh, I could at least do... 
one angel room, uh, one angel fight then. Oh, there's a tinted rock there. Thank you. Okay. Let's go and find a sacrifice room. What's that? Speed down. Don't want that. Don't want that. Let's drop that. Uh, oh, I've just thought there's one more. Too late. I was going to say there's there's a shot if you get to the blue womb to fight a uh, hush, but um, I uh, uh, yeah I'm, I've gone past the time limit because you need to beat Mum's heart in under thirty minutes to to get that. That's poor. Come on, don't lose all your bloody health, you twat. Um, oof. let's go and do these smaller rooms. Rock. That's good. Challenge room. <laughs> oh, that's poor. Power bill. That's good. Tears up. That's nice as well. room here and I've lost all of the soul heart that I had that was going to make it uh, make it feasible um, okay no okay so I could still go and do that um, two by two room um, Might be enough hearts to get the angel to appear. I don't think it is. Uh, just a while. As well. Okay, nothing in here either. Okay. Right, well, nothing for it but to go on to the next floor. Okay, Let's see what happens. Scarred womb. Get some pills. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. Yes. Just hoping for some uh, balls of steel or something like that. Another one of those tears up, because that's nice. Um. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, that's arse. Bloody gravity heads, whatever you call them. Um, okay. Still got 50% chance of an angel room appearing. 
Um, oh fuck. This is it's, it's very poor run in terms of the quality of my performance. Um, I'll certainly say that. But you can just grind out a... Uh, you can sort of grind out a victory sometimes. Which is kind of what I'm doing here. Oh, every time... I may as well, to be honest. Like I'm getting, getting so many hearts. Okay. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. I'm gonna use that and just do contact damage with my dagger. Angel room. Good. Take that. Bomb the angel statue. Boom. Kill the angel. Dead. Okay, that's half of that found. So, let's just go and have a look on this floor, see if I can find a sacrifice room uh, to get another one to appear. And then, uh, then I'll have the full key. Um, I did take the Polaroid, yeah I did. Good. God, why are there so many things? Oh yeah, those little shitty little ghost ones won't die unless you've killed everything else in the room. Which I fucking hate. Especially when everything's popping up all over the place and disappearing. Right. Brilliant. Get these hearts. All the help I can get. All the health I can get. in my luck I'll do something like this and then I'll get like dad's key in like the first chest in the chest <laughs> okay I'm trying to see the creep on the floor um, it's very difficult to see when it's all red Nope. OK. 
Okay, so nothing on this floor. I don't know. If, I don't think you get. Um, I don't know if you get sacrifice rooms in shop in um, the uh, in the cathedral or not. Hmm. Blow up these machines. Get some stuff. Power pill. That's useful. I'll save that because uh, I can use that to um, well be invincible whilst dealing contact damage with my dagger on the uh, on the next boss fight. Okay. Um, yeah. Up into the light. It's possible I could find. I could have looked for. Could have looked for hidden rooms. It's possible I might find a uh, an angel statue somewhere. I found pills. Tears up. That's nice. I love that. Okay. Oh, bloody hate ghosts. Just annoying. Just slow. Slow to beat. Okay. Um, see what's in these chests. Might be something good. Oh, it is. That's flight. Excellent. It's very helpful. Death card, mass room damage. Hold well on to that. Um, that in here. Flight's good. Um, keep up that. Now there's a 62% chance of an angel room appearing after this boss fight as well, so it's another uh, another potential um, avenue for me. in the cathedral. Oops. Okay. I will do the boss. With the power pill. Do the old sacrificial dagger. Okay. Ooh. Oh, come on, that's poor. No angel room. Okay, let's go looking for a sacrifice room. I doubt we'll find. Could be in there. What's that? Spiders? Fuck off. Okay, well, that's something. Um, okay. I wonder if the, there's another hidden room here. There's not. Okay. Oh, these bloody guys. Challenge room, 
no real point in me going in that. These guys. Nothing. Um, I guess the secret room could be here. No. Dagger to come around. <laughs> That's quite fun. Okay, well, so I still might get it in the chest. Um, I haven't found the, I haven't found the other hidden room on this floor. So we'll have a look in a couple more places. Namely, here. No. Here. Go into the challenge room, see if there's anything in interesting in here. There is. Bits and bobs. well and truly all of the all of my options for this floor okay let's go into the chest curse of the unknown you know, Dad's key. <laughs> oh my God, what a joke. Oh, that's great though, that's great. Um, okay. <laughs> Can't believe agonizing for so long. Okay, let's just go and do Mega Satan. Fucking hell, so bloody typical. Take a hit just to get slow down going. Um, I do have to be a bit careful because I can't see my health and I've already been hit three times. So I don't actually want to die after all of this. Because I don't have a hugely powerful build because I haven't taken any devil deals. Um, I mean, Proptosis is great. Um, and obviously my slowdown is great as well, but I can't just cruise it. So. Okay, 
next wave of mini bosses. So you basically just have to beat all the mini bosses whilst also avoiding the bullet hell stuff of Mega Satan. But it's yeah. If you I mean seriously, if you've got the stop the uh the stopwatch then just there's no problems. Ooh, there we go. Oh shit. Get out of my way, bombs. So you do all the mini bosses. Then you do a couple of the Dark Angel fights. Um, then you finish killing his skull. Uh, we finish killing his head and then you have to kill his skull. There we go, angels. Two of these. Oh shit. I was going to say get the sacrificial dagger working, but I didn't. Um, the good thing is if you've got flight, you can sort of stay out of uh, out of harm's way quite reasonably up in these corners, which is good. Um, oh, I say that. Oh, okay, now the skull's going to come out. Kill the skull. Uh, kill, kill him. Oh. See his skull starting to get worn down uh, to sort of be indicative of his uh, his health. Um, he's got a lot of health. There we go. That's going to be it now. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh. Credits? Nah. Brown baby. <laughs> there we go. So that was a bit of a long-winded one that didn't need to be. But hey, there we go. There we go. It's like a one in, I don't know, 200 chance that I was going to get Dad to keep in one of those chests. So that was, uh, I, was I really lucked out. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video nonetheless. Uh, so please do like and subscribe and join me soon for the next one.